Hi there, my name is Jessie, and I am one of the volunteers for the Canadian Cultural Mosaic Foundation. Uh, and today I'm going to be showing you the features of our newest resource called the Culture Commons Resource Hub. This resource hub was created for teachers and parents to help navigate conversations on anti-racism and multiculturalism. Um, so one of the features we have on our website is an accessibility button. So when I click on this, uh, you'll notice that there are a couple of different options here. Um, and the reason we have this is just to enhance the user experience and meet um, the needs of all. So there are options for dyslexia friendly text um, to enhance the size of the text, as well as to change the contrast. And these are just ways to help be inclusive of all people's needs. And as you explore through the website, the accessibility button will stay with you. So as I continue to scroll down, you'll see that this button actually stays with me. And as I continue to scroll down the website, you'll see that there are a couple of different search options. So I'm going to be showing you as if I were a teacher. So here I can select the grade that I'm teaching. Um, I can also select the option class that I'm teaching. So if I'm teaching art or foods, um, or any other important aspects. So there are resources on becoming an anti-racist educator, developing cultural competency, creating accessible classrooms, and a multicultural calendar. So uh, I'm gonna pretend that I teach grade two. So I'm going to click on the grade two option. And when I go into the grade two uh, page, you'll notice that um, there are a few different subjects here. So you'll have your four core subjects, LA, math, science and social, as well as art and music. So today I'm actually going to go into mathematics. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice uh, that there are three different tabs at the top. So the mathematicians tab here is used um, to show different Black, Indigenous, people of color, um, mathematicians who have shaped the field of math. Um, I would use this more for representation to show different um, BIPOC individuals who have been influential in the field. Um, and you can just show this to your students, um, maybe just like in relation to a concept that you're teaching. Uh, the next tab over here is class activities. So these lesson plans are curated and handpicked and reviewed by teachers. Um, so they come from a variety of different um, sources on the internet. They're all just housed into one. Um, so I'm actually going to show you two that I would use. So if I scroll down, um, each, um, each resource has a description as well as the curriculum connection and how a teacher could potentially use this as well as accessibility um, to Use that resource. So if I go down, I would use small number counts to 100. So I already have it open. So when I go to this website, you'll notice that it's a video. So um, you know I could use this as a story to hook my grade twos in counting. So I could play the video. What's nice too is that this resource also features uh, a transcript as well, uh, and then. You know, I would continue on with my concept lesson and then I would scroll up. I have this resource open here and this can be used after I teach um, my concept lesson. So this is a game, uh, an Indigenous game that can be used to further enhance the teaching that I would have done in my numbers lesson. So those are just a couple of ideas to help you use the resources in our in our hub and then the last section here on teacher resources this is just background knowledge to enhance your own planning and your own teaching um, and it's just for you to gain more insight into uh, different different teachings so we hope that you enjoy exploring the cultural commons and that your students or your children really enjoy the resources